you know, it's nice. I so rarely get time to record that, uh, it's kind of awesome when I can get a chance to record. Is there anything else in here that I can look at? Guess not. Oh god, a lot of pages of this. Alright. That room remorse. Unsolved serial killings, an examination of the 1901 Chicago's King, the relation of the 1901 Ripper, Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, six months are cut right. None of that's important. Files, corner reports in the secondary. Okay. Senior investor assigned to the case. Scowling. Alright, we know that. Little I've gleaned from the FBI archives, believe I've identified the murderer. Gustav McPherson! Chicago at the top. Really? For the research into Mr. McPherson's background revealed that he fled New York in the winter of 1922 following allegations by the city's. by that city's police force that he may have been responsible for an unsolved homicide involving a former client. While in Paris, McPherson apparently worked as a painter until he was drawn into Lafayette White. The investigation of a double homicide in the Hotel Orfe in autumn of 1925. Interestingly, one of the victims, Faye Johnson, registered under the alias Ruby White, may well have been known to McPherson as a result of the investigation that prompted him to leave New Oh, York. McPherson then left Paris, apparently in order to evade the authorities who may have identified him as a suspect in the Hotel Orfe killings. Oh, boy. He made his way to Prague, where he abandoned his painting and resumed working as a private investigator. Following the last of the Prague killings, a prostitute by the name of Ida Skalkovila, whose company McPherson was known to solicit, McPherson fled once again, a step ahead of the local police, who had a warrant for his arrest. There were no more killings in Prague following his departure, only to reappear in Chicago in 1931, followed by three more murders. Pearson subsequently resumed his career as a private investigator and does not appear to have been a suspect in these killings. If accepted, I intend to present a convincing case for McPherson as the Perlovka Ripper. Huh. A detailed psychological profile of McPherson in an attempt to better understand what drove him to commit such ghastly crimes and why. Atypically for serial killers, according to current theories, he then apparently stopped killing. That's not good. So there was a lot of murder surrounding our grandpa. Hello? Hey, it's me. What's up? Nothing much. I was just calling to say I was on my way to visit Victim 5's roommate. Maybe she can tell us more about Vaclav and the other girl in the picture. No need, I know who she is. She's Vaclav's neighbor. Actually, I just finished the interview. How did it go? He's harmless. Anyways, he doesn't fit the profile. But I did nick a little something with Prince. I'm taking it over to Claire for comparisons. Great idea, but we can't use it, though, if he checks out. I know. Call me if you get anything interesting out of the roommate. Will do. Bye. At least Bye. they know they can't use it. And, uh, you know, it's a... I mean, I guess it does get you on the... You know, if you match prints, but still. Uh... Pretty sure, regardless, to, you know. Uh, it's odd with. If it's. If it was thrown out, it, you're allowed to, like, snatch it. But because I think it was in his house there. It wasn't thrown out publicly. I, I don't really know the law, to be honest with you. I, I just know what I know from uh, watching my crime shows. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll snag a piece of gum or something like that and be like, Haha, you threw this away. Now we have your DNA. Yar har har. And the guy's like, no, you can't. All right, maybe not quite like that, but. I watch my Law and Order SVU. I know what's up. And my Dexter. And my The Shield and The Mentalist. There's a lot of crime shows. No, oh, I'm interested in the bones. Oh, 
A lot of people recommended Criminal Minds to me. I will have to check that one out. I've not seen that yet, but... Hi, Claire. Hey. Can you check this bottle out for prints and compare them to the partials you got on victims 4 and 5? I don't think we'll hit anything, but I'm curious. Curiosity killed the cat. But a cat has nine lives. Let's stop the cliches before someone gets shot. Can you at least extract the prints for me? Once extracted, the computer can compare the partials. Sure. Remind me where the stuff is? The powder's upstairs on my desk near the plastifying machine, along with the brush and lifting tape. When you're done, just give me the print and I'll handle the rest down here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Doesn't seem like a very professional, you know, department here. I don't know. I met like I, I have no idea what these people had helping them or anything, but I imagine to really do these games well, y you have to bring in, you know, real life detectives who uh, kind of deal with some of this stuff and even the problem with that is that you can't get too heavy into the game uh... Well, what game did that police quest old sierra point and click um, i remember you know looking at them and it, there's just uh, it's very very difficult to play through them um, all right. this is gray powder useful for finding latent prints right, i want to use it Oops. This is gray powder. Right. Useful for finding latent prints. Right. Well, sure, we'll take some more. Why not? Oh, here. Put that in that. Where's my... Where the hell my file go? Here we go. All right. Let's pop that open. Oops. I don't need more powder. Oh. All right. Well. No. Use on that. Do we need any more? Do 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 do. I can't just use the brush. Oh, a little more powder. I can't just use the brush. Fine. Let's get some tape. I can't use that here. Oh. Goals. This will do nicely for prints. Slap. Do I, do I need any more prints? I don't need more powder. Oh. Uh, you know, like maybe that one will be good. Oh. I can't use that here. Got. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Uh, maybe the one I grabbed there really is the only that one. That won't work. I guess that one there was the only one that would really work well. Uh, can I laminate this then? Uh. That won't work. Isn't that the laminator that... A plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. I don't know what it does, though.